My name is Maisha Mohammadi, and I'm sitting in front of Cheers to My Children, which is the largest painting in my show, Game Breaker. I knew I wanted to make one extra large painting. I ordered the canvas and it was actually just sitting blank in my studio for about two months. I found it pretty intimidating. I almost feel like I had this relationship with that painting before it even became a painting. I'm not sure exactly when I knew the painting would be about my children. I think because it was so daunting to start that large of a painting, it's really the only topic I could paint about. When I start a painting, I need to feel an intense connection to the idea. And obviously I feel so close to my children. It was a very happy beginning. Just knowing that the painting was dedicated to them gave me the confidence to carry me through completion of this painting. I have two boys and they've been so involved in this process of me investing myself in my work just by being supportive and such a loving presence in my life that I thought this would be a really wonderful way to honor them and respect them. I wanted it to have this really fun, high impact rainbow feeling. So I pulled the color palette from a vintage children's poetry book. And it shows a beautiful tree with all these rainbow illustrations around the tree. And then when I pulled the colors from that, I realized I wanted a couple of colors that had like a little bit of a darker element. And so I found this old picture of these candies. I don't know if they were Skittles, but something like Skittles. And so I included those as well. Working at this scale definitely changed my approach because I had to use scaffolding for the first time. Because I start the paintings with pencil drawings and I'm really up close to the surface, I had to figure out a way to get really close to the painting, even in areas that were really far away from the ground. I wasn't sure how to fill up that much space, so I picked out a couple of my favorite shapes from previous paintings, and I started with those. As soon as I drew those on the surface, I got the sensation that I wanted something in which when my children are physically in the gallery approaching the painting, it almost envelops them. A giant painting doesn't necessarily have the soul of a giant painting. And this painting to me is like a sweet puppy dog. I'm sure they'll be impressed and think it's cool, but my real goal with this is I want them to have this as a memory. Approaching this painting and knowing that they have each other and no matter what happens, they have the love of our family, of the four of us, and nobody can take that memory away.